Can you solve this problem in a minute? Well, let's find out. So in this case, we have this wheel, and there are two forces acting on the wheel. Now, the first force that we have is influencing the wheel to rotate clockwise, so we're gonna call this torque one. The second force that we have is influencing this wheel to rotate counterclockwise. We're gonna call this torque two. In most engineering classes, the clockwise direction is considered to be negative. Now, whenever the forces are directly perpendicular to the distances, which as you can see, the forces in this case are directly perpendicular, all you need to do to calculate torque is to multiply the force and distance from the lever arm. So for torque one, we have a negative torque and our force is 20 newtons and our distance from the lever arm is four meters. So negative 20 times four will give you negative 80 newton meters. Now for torque two, so what I'm going to do is plug in our 30 newtons of force, which we have right down here, and I'm going to multiply apply this by our two meter distance and 30 times two will give you a torque of 60 Newton meters. So to calculate the net torque on the entire system, I just need to add all of the torques together and 60 plus negative 80 is gonna be a net torque of negative 20 Newton meters. So this is the net torque and since our final answer was negative, the clockwise direction wins.